programme, we meet two governors who've taken particular responsibility for children with special needs. We find out how they use the governor visit to monitor initiatives in their schools, how they present feedback to their respective governing bodies, and finally, what's involved in being a governor with responsibility for special needs. Looking at this work is Devon's head of governor services, Judy Burgess. In, in order really to, to be able to discuss governance and special needs, I think it would be helpful, first of all, to define special needs in relation to children. And there is a legal definition of special needs in relation to children. And it's where children are um, behind their peers, basically, on their educational level. Janet Thornton is a governor at the Frank Wise School in Oxfordshire, where all the children have very specific needs. Her 10-year-old son is a pupil here. Janet is monitoring her school's policy on integration with mainstream schools. You say bye to Lord. You say bye to Kevin. George Taylor is a governor at a mainstream primary school in Tiverton. Like most schools, Two Moors has a number of children with special needs. Today, George is going out with some of them on their regular visit to a centre designed to encourage their confidence away from the classroom. Legally, there is no difference um, when you're looking at the corporate responsibilities of the governing body in a special school and in a mainstream school. So if you go to the Guide to the Law and look at the chapter on special needs, you'll see it's exactly the same, whether you're in a special school or a mainstream school. What's different is maybe how the governors will see it in action. The Frank Wise School is proud of its work with mainstream schools. Its children make regular visits to neighbouring schools and share lessons and playtime with similar year groups. One of these is Great Worth Primary. And today, a governor is joining the class. I'm here to um, have a look at what's happening with the integration with Great Worth School. And we're just here so that I can have a look at what's happening and how the children themselves interact with the mainstream children. What we're going to do today is finish off the portrait for the pop art. There are benefits from the scheme for both schools. Great Worth's teachers believe that their children learn valuable social skills about the world we live in. I think it's about social integration. It's about children getting experience of all different kinds of people and realising that you know, there are those with disabilities. But in fact, a disability can be a, an advantage. I think they get a lot out of it. This one. What did you do on this one then? Fingers. It's nice for them to come into the mainstream, to have friends who are in the mainstream and be involved in the sorts of activities that other children are involved in, uh, to be part of a larger group. Can Kirsty have that, James? Yeah. How did you know my name? I've known you for ages, Kirsty. <laughs> it's Janet. Yellow. Yellow. Which bit shall we do, yellow? Janet's visit has been arranged by the class teacher and the chair of governors, Doug Seymour. A member of staff arranges with the governors, individual governors, convenient times for both the school and for the governors to come and pay a visit. The governor has some choice in the sense that he or she can highlight what area of the school he wants to look at. So any aspect that he really wants to find or she wants to find out about can be actually indicated at that very first planning point. These are the eyes, are they? And what's this bit, Lucy? There's strict rules to that visit. There's a pro forma with all the rules on, and the governor will return that pro forma with his questions that he might have. Do you sit, do you sit in the same place each week? And I stayed here. And who do you sit next to usually? Who are your friends at Great Worth? And obviously what we're looking for is not just what the governor gained from the visit, but how can we improve what we're doing? Are there areas where that element of the education can be improved. That was a really interesting morning. It was wonderful to see the children from Frank Wise integrating so successfully with the children at Great Worth. Um, and I'm going back to the school now to have a meeting with the rest of the governing body. <laughs> Janet, if you wouldn't mind, please, um, just recounting your visit. It was great. For me, it's the first time I've been as a, as a parent governor and watched it all happening. 
and there was one one of the children was having quite an outburst because he's he's been feeling poorly and he was really out of sorts but the other children didn't react it to, to that behavior at all just carried on just around him which I thought was really accepting of them and, and a really nice um, they were just very accepting. I think the beauty of what we've just seen on the television of a governor having almost represented her governing body by observing some good practice between two schools a special school and a mainstream school she really expressed really well I think what she saw that's just the observations of a lay person is there any one thing or more that you would change that we could do differently that would actually add value to what we're doing? Um, I, think, I think what we're doing is excellent. I wonder, I know that we've done this sometimes, Kevin, but mm. about bringing the children to us. That's probably something we've done less. I think all schools need strong governing bodies because governors do have now a lot of responsibilities within the school. I think special schools need even stronger governing bodies because there are many things that we do not get as a right but we often have to fight for. I think that's something governors might need to consider when we're looking at sorting out our budget and everything for next year. So the action points for us are that we're going to look at the mainstream children coming on site more frequently and also look at whether we can put some more money uh, into the funding. I might be sticking my neck out here when we look at the difference that we're looking for maybe in a governing body of a special school or a governing body of a mainstream school because I would say there isn't any difference. Um, I would say the corporate governing body still has to fulfil its statutory responsibilities and that is to ensure provision. Over at Two Moors Primary in Tiverton, a group of special needs children are arriving at Escot, an outdoor educational centre. This is one of a series of weekly visits during the winter months. We're going to play a name game. The initiative is part of Two Moors School Improvement Plan. It gives the children the opportunity to build up their confidence and develop non-academic skills. George Gorilla, Daniel Duck. The governing body wants feedback about the scheme, so it's arranged for one of their number, George Taylor, to accompany the children. They're wondering whether even more of their children could benefit from the Escot experience. Well, I'm here today as its parent governor for two more school, of which I've been for uh, almost three years now. And as a governor, it's in our interest to see that if these things are funded, we want to know that what they're doing is working. And to get the children out, and the only way you're going to do that is to be with them. I'd like to do some animal shelters. I think that'd be really nice to do today. In the maze. In the maze. Go in the maze. 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 Yeah. 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 We do special needs education for primary schools and secondary schools, mainly for special needs groups. The special needs groups are mainly the ones who are struggling in a classroom. Why do you like the maze so much? It's fun. It's fun. What is it? Should we go and do it? Yeah, why not? Shall I show you the way? As a governor and, and a parent as well, I look at it on from both sides of the fence in that as a parent I like to see how my children and other children develop in the classroom and outside of the classroom in, in, a, in a rural environment. Everybody up here! This is a great opportunity for children to develop themselves um, in other ways other than looking at the computer screens or, or the indoor type of things which we tend to occupy ourselves with today. <laughs> You're not meant to go across the fence. It's equally as important that Alan, who runs this course, is a qualified teacher. Yeah. He obviously understands um, the wares and the whys of the children, and he has has a you know a sane knowledge of outdoor teaching. Two more school have been very successful here. They've been coming for about two years now. So what's a shelter? Yeah. And um, it's like the keep animals dry. Like, like and the teachers report that those children have come a long way. Right, can you go out and make an animal shelter now, please? 
We've also had the governors. Many of the governors have been to visit us and seen what we've been doing. And where does it actually live? Worry, remember the sword fight? Yeah. yeah. Does it live all on its own? Yeah. Or just the one answer, is it? Yeah. What do you enjoy about coming here then? I finish mine because yeah. having fun. Having fun. Is there any a particular area? The otters. The otters you like, do you? When governors are, have a formal school improvement plan and they're implementing that, often a governing body will determine that maybe one or two governors will go and see that part of the school improvement plan at work. So they would plan a school visit to, to look at that. Not making judgments about it, that's for the head and the staff to do, but just to see it at work, to learn about it. And that was a good example on the television that I saw of a, a parent governor doing a visit. So that governor had seen the school improvement plan at work. This scheme was introduced by head teacher Roy Kerrigan. I mean, this is science in action, for goodness sake. And this is, this is investigative science, for goodness sake. They're, they're forming hypotheses and trying them out and having a lot of fun. <laughs> These children have come here, they've learnt, they've gone back to school, they've written about it, they've talked about it. Every, we normally go on a Tuesday, every Monday night, children who, who sometimes don't even know the days of the week, know that on a Monday night they've got their packed lunch and their wellies ready for Tuesday. Have we all had a good day today? Yeah. What are you going to say to Alan then? Their weeks do not run looking for the weekend, their weeks run looking for the day they go to Escort. One of the things that George has discovered is that the Forest Centre would be happy to take a group of up to 30. At the moment, because of the size of the minibus, Two Moors has to restrict the number to 15. And it's with this thought that George reports back to Ivan Godfrey, his Chair of Governors. There is a capacity to take more children um, without any extra cost to us. Um, so it may be as an issue we ought to discuss to increase the class sizes from 15 where we can have up to 30 out there and no extra cost to us. Um, we'd have, well, I suppose transport would be better. Transport would be an issue, so we'd have to look at none of the teachers. It's part of a governing body's responsibility to monitor provision for special needs children. But what have Janet and George got out of it personally? I mean, as a governor, it's not all about sitting in a classroom or sitting at a table discussing things. You've got the ability to go out and see for yourself what is done in an out outdoor teaching environment and to see the children themselves and the confidence it's built upon being outdoors is a great thing to see. I'm making a bad day. Today's been really important because it's given me the opportunity to go and see something that perhaps a lot of people don't actually get to see, which is seeing the children in, in their everyday environment, going into a school, um, integrating with mainstream. I'm going to cut around it? OK. And that's something that only a few people get the opportunity to stand back and observe, and I feel very proud that it's, I'm able to do that for the school as much as for me as an individual. I think that's really good. It's a big felt tip there, isn't it?